الحمد ان الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا فلا مضل له ومن ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسالون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما بعد ايها الاحبه في الله عقيده the belief in the religion of islam is the most important knowledge that you have and from that knowledge is knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and every muslim should know what brings them into the fold of Islam and what will take you out of the fold of Islam even if they were born muslim even if they're already muslim every muslim knows that the key to paradise is the statement la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadar rasulullah that there is no god worthy of worship except allah and that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his last messenger alayhi salatu wasalam however many people make this statement and they don't realize that there are things that can invalidate the statement but let's look at i wanted to as in a very brief sitting or few sittings while we're here talk about the shahada and talk about the conditions for the shahada or the conditions for the statement of uh, of of faith and as one of the salaf said the famous tabi'i wahhab ibn munabbih he was once asked isn't the statement of la ilaha illallah the key to paradise he responded by saying yes but every key has uh has ridges or it has its teeth if you come with the key that has the right key, uh, right teeth the door will open for you yet if you do not have the right teeth the door will not open for you so likewise this is with the shahada that although it is the key to paradise that it it has to have the right conditions it has conditions for the shahada it had conditions for the testimony of faith and with regards to the testimony of faith the first condition is elm is knowledge knowledge of what you are bearing witness to so this is the case and it is useful to teach a person who wants to become a muslim these uh you know explain in very brief about the conditions and the seriousness of the shahada that when they embrace this that they be, they enter into the brotherhood of islam and this is a reminder to us who are already muslim to know and understand the meaning of the shahada that it doesn't mean there is no god except allah but in fact it means and a more appropriate translation is that there is no god worthy of worship except allah what is the implication meaning that other people take other gods there are people who for example the hindus they worship uh a variety of gods some of them they worship the elephant some of them they worship the cow some of they worship uh some of them worship uh rats and things like this and they will still say that there is no god except one god but yet there are lesser gods is what they believe and likewise the most of the christians believe that there is no god except allah or there is no god except god but then what they mean by that is that Jesus is god or is the son of god and this is a muslim we totally reject this it's absolutely imperative that we understand with knowledge what the meaning of the shahada so the first of the conditions is is ilm is knowledge that is one must have the basic and general knowledge of what is meant by the shahada so you have to have knowledge of what the shahada means one must understand what the shahada is affirming and what the shahada is denying
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem. So you have to know that the shahada, that when we make the shahada, we are affirming and we're negating. We are affirming that there is nothing worthy of worship except the law, and we're negating that everything else that's worship besides the law is not worthy of worship. We're negating that those things are worthy of worship. Meaning that we affirm that there is no God worthy of worship except the law, and we negate that there are other gods that deserve worship. So, with that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِي ذَنْبِكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So know that there is no God except Allah, and ask for forgiveness for your sins. And the Prophet wasallam said, Whoever dies knowing that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah, shall enter paradise. And this is in Sahih Muslim. So we know that that's the key to paradise, but again, it needs conditions. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in that ayat, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذِنْبِكَ Know, so Allah is ordering you with knowledge. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهُ So Allah begins by affirming and uh, affirming that He is the only one worthy of worship and that this is with knowledge. He says, no. He didn't say, remain jahil. And then this concept, but instead you have to have knowledge of Tawheed. You have to have knowledge of who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how to worship Him properly. And when one testifies to something, they must know what he or she is testifying to. So that means if you go to court and they say, we want you to witness against so-and-so. You cannot witness against that person or for that person if you don't have knowledge of that person or what you're witnessing to. You can't testify to something that you don't have knowledge of. And likewise, the Shahada, how can you testify that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and you don't understand the meaning? So this is why it's important to have knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, إِلَّا مَنْ شَاهِدَ بِالْحَقِّ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Save him who bears witness unto the truth knowingly. Again, bearing the witness to the truth requires what? Knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Save him who bears witness unto the truth knowingly. And that's the shahid of that ayat. The, the, main, the main purpose of mentioning that ayat is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is is saying that the person witnesses the haq witnesses that something is the truth with knowledge knowingly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wuhum ya'lamun and that they know so it requires ilm uh, knowledge of who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so for example if someone says there is no God except Allah and then said that what he meant by Allah was Jesus we can't accept that that doesn't enter a person into the fold of Islam and that's why in this day and age, you have people who say that I'm a Catholic Muslim or I'm a Christian Muslim. The reason they say this because they don't have real knowledge of Islam and they want to remain with their Christian community and at the same time embrace what they believe to be true of Islam. But absolutely, this is false and this is unacceptable. And a person who does this is not a Muslim. They do not enter the fold of Islam because Islam requires full submission. As some of the ulama, they say, some of the scholars, they say, Al-Islam, uh, Al-Islam, in qiyad lillah bi in qiyad lillah bi ta'ati wa khulus min shirk wa ahli o kama qil. They say that Islam, it is to adhere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His commandments fully. And in qiyad lillah bi ta'a, in obedience to Allah, wa khulus min shirk wa ahli. And leaving off shirk, polytheism, in all of its form, and the people of polytheism. Why is this relevant to what we're talking about? Because a person who says that they're both Muslim and Christian, then they haven't uh, entered the fold of Islam. They haven't really al istislam bi wa khulus min shirk wa ahli. They haven't left off shirk. 
even if they bear witness that there's no God worthy of worship except the law, but they have not left off shirk. They still worship other than the law. And they mean by uh, they mean by Allah, they mean Jesus. Or they mean Jesus is the Son of God. Or some believe in Jibreel, worshiping the angel Jibreel. And some believe in worshiping uh, various other deities. And this is imperative for us to understand. So the first uh, condition in the testimony of faith is knowledge that you have knowledge need to have knowledge of what you're bearing witness to and i ask allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil